Hey guys, Bobby here. And today I got a Three Sisters Forge Beast. And we'll just talk about this today. So this is pretty much uh it's a three inch blade and I believe right around four and a half ounces. I'll throw all the stats in the description. Uh, I got the clip point blade, as you can see. I just thought it was a really beautiful design. I like the, the shape of it. And uh you can pretty much get this in a clip point or a, a spear point. Which I thought they were really similar, but I have a you know I have a few uh spear points already, so I, I wanted to get something different when I had got this. And uh I really I just like the the way it looked. Kind of has like an old school type of look to it, but just really just really look looks really good and I, I I really like that belly. So that's why I ended up going with the clip point. So this is made by uh, Three Sisters Forge and uh, particularly one guy, uh, Dr. Jim Allen. And he is very, very responsive when it comes to emails. I mean, he just, you know, really, uh, uh, I mean, just very responsive. He asks you everything. How, how do you want your knife? Uh, he, I asked him to soften the edges and uh, I mean it's not completely rounded but it, it's nothing is sharp and uh, he asks like how do you like your lockup I asked for mine early and that's pretty early and then uh, he asks how do you want your detent and <laughs> I did not respond so I said medium and uh, you know he was like you know not crazy strong and not too loose and you know I thought he just hit it perfect so you can see uh, I love the way it you know it just grabs that blade and sucks it in there so and then you know it's not you know it doesn't hurt your thumb to flick it out uh, I do remember when this was uh, brand new it was it was sticky and you know you kinda just gotta work it work it in and you know once it breaks in like most knives um, you know, just it's not sticky at all. I do. Uh, he does. I think in the paperwork it says when you disengage it. You know, he says he makes it real tight. So when uh when you disengage it, get up as high as you can on the lock bar and uh, to disengage it. But now you can see mine's uh, mine's disengages with ease. Uh, let's see. Give you guys a good look. So. Uh, I guess, oh, let's clean this off. Uh, one of the things uh, I'll point out real quick, whoops, sorry. Um, so we can see, so mine, you know, fit and finish wise, it's really good. But we can see right there, so that that's how mine actually came. So he had some scratches right there. I think that, and it looks like it was from him trying to sharpen it, because there's scratches right there. You can see, and it did come really, really sharp. And then there's a line right there. I think when he was trying to put it together, uh, you can see that's right where that follows. So because it goes all the way down, I'm guessing it's before the stop pin was in when he's trying to fit everything together. But uh, it didn't bother me. You know, this is a, a user knife for me. Uh, there's no jumping, but I, I knew that going in, so it just it really feels real good. Uh, besides, the jumping would have to be all the way up here. This is where you know this is where I, I grab the knife. Really comfortable ergonomics. Uh, the blade still on mine is a M390. I do wish it was marked somewhere, but you know uh, the, it is sterile except for you know the Three Sisters Forge. A logo. I do like everything on this uh, deep carry pocket clip. Mine's been dropped, <laughs> so I dropped it on the pocket clip. There's a little mark there. That's not bad. Um, this is a really, uh, really thick stock. If we go on, uh, here's a Strider SMG to give you guys a size, like a comparison. See, it's really thick. Uh, it says it's hollow gr ground, 
but uh, because the grind starts right here, you know, it doesn't come to a super thin edge. So, you know, it's not going to be the best slicer. It probably handle most cutting tasks. You guys can see it's it's pretty thick behind the edge, <clears throat> but it can handle, you know, I mean, any type of EDC task with ease. Uh, I really do enjoy this knife. <clears throat> a couple, I guess, uh, things I did read on the forum that I'd agree with is uh, you see the pivot because it's rounded. And I haven't had no problems, and I did tighten the pivot and everything, and but it is prone to stripping. Someone did say that. And I would agree with that because of the the round design. I think I just used a T7 bit and it was fine. So it's just a really great knife. I did take mine apart and uh re-grease it and you know all that. I think he used bike chain grease, but uh, it's not bad. Um, I took it apart, cleaned it, and I mean it is buttery smooth. Uh, I just I really enjoy flicking this knife out. I was gonna go with uh, double thumb studs, but I decided not to because they stick out kind of far. You guys can see there. Uh, I heard when people were pulling out their pants, uh, you know, it can't catch. Kind of doing a Emerson wave, but uh, you know. <clears throat> I thought it was fine with one thumb stud. I'll give you guys some size comparisons. Uh, so here's a large Sebenza. So you see it's quite a bit smaller than a large Sebenza. Uh, when I see it probably compared the most to is uh, here's my Graham and Dua. But see it's, I mean it's right in line with that Graham and Dua. And a small Sebenza. So a little more in the handle, but uh, and just a tad tab more on the the blade. But overall, I have to say, <clears throat> really great knife. Uh, you know, I pointed out a couple of you know, probably just a little attention to detail type of things, but you know, I, I do really enjoy this knife. I don't know if I mentioned it, but the blade still he's he's using is uh, M390. And, uh, you know, great overall EDC knife, really hard built, uh, no no play at all. You know, if you do get some, just tighten that pivot a little bit and it'll go away. Uh, really, you see, good tolerances. It's a really well built knife. And, uh, you know, I just enjoy having it, thought I'd share it with you guys. So, that's Three Sisters Forge Beasts. Thanks for watching. Thanks. Bye.